Uh, the universal, universal ruler. ruler. He rules eternity. That's right. Thank God. And this is why many of you get mad because when we bring you his thinking, it's the opposite from your thinking. And you say, oh, no. <laughs> A woman preacher say, I don't care what you say. I ain't coming out the pulpit. I know what God told me. The dictator didn't tell you to get up there. No. The dictator said, I suffer you I not to teach. to teach. Nor to use up authority over the man, but to be in silence with all subjection. That's right. Listen at this. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. The Spirit. We're back in Timothy now. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse God 1. God expressed himself. That in the latter times. In the last days. Some shall depart from the faith. I want to stay with God. Yes. Stay. Don't you? Amen. Oh, you can say amen better than that. <laughs> amen. I want to stay with him. That's it. Hallelujah. There's a wonderful thing. To look back 5, 10, 15 years later and see one just start out with had hair, now don't have none or half having it. <laughs> That's right. Start out with black hair, now in silver. Yes, sir. Start out 100 pounds, now they're 175. Amen. Start out with no belly, now they're pushing around. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Start out in the spirit, fast, moving. Got older, now they got the holy hip and said, thank you, Jesus. That's right. Never mind, but I'm still running. Still running. Yeah. That's right. What if God say, know ye not that, that they which run in the race run, run all. all. That's right. But one received the prize, so run, so run. That ye may obtain. That you may obtain. What you mean so run? Run so right. at a pace right. that you will last. That's right. Don't try to compete with nobody. Don't try to outdo nobody. Don't get hype about another person's experience, then you try to duplicate what they've done. And let us run with patience. What? Let us run with patience. You better itemize that, William. In Hebrews chapter 12, we're at verse 1. Listen. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. You got a great cloud of witnesses. witnesses. We are surrounded by witnesses looking at you, starting to walk with God. That's right. You got some people hoping that you don't stay with God. That's true. To give them something to talk about. That's right. They're not paying your hype no mind. Some are sitting back waiting yeah. and saying, you'll be back out here with us. That's right. So you have to take your time. Take your time. Thanks be unto God. That's right. That's right. When you're coming to the knowledge of God, he says, keep your foot. Amen. What you mean? Take your time. Stay in place. Amen. You know, I used to run track. And, uh, I didn't do long distance running, didn't like it. That's right. Williams and I were sprinters. That's right. We would compete against each other. Mm -hmm. Amen. Run. <laughs> I mean, we are run. Oh, yeah. And when I was younger, my best friend, Ernest Thomas, we call him Randy, he was a long distance runner. Mm -hmm. And uh, when all three of us would race, Randy was a slow start. But as long as the distance got longer, <laughs> he got faster. That's right. And when he got faster, we got more tired. That's right. And Randy had a method to make you tired and to wear you down. He'll run and then get close to you. <laughs> and then when he get close to you, he'll sling his arm and be hitting you. <laughs> which makes you more tired. That's right. This is a race. It's a race. Not given to the swift nor the strong. That's right. This is all about endurance. That's right. It's a race that's saturated with patience. Oh, yes. And understanding and discipline. That's right. Patience, understanding, discipline. That's right. You cannot survive in your walk with God without discipline. That's right. What kind of discipline? Mental discipline, emotional discipline. Physical discipline and spiritual discipline. That's right. You got to have mental discipline to govern your mind so you don't be so unstable. Yeah. If you're mentally unstable, you're going to be in and out of church, in and out of church, in and out of church. Yeah. You're going to be a sometime walker. That's right. That's true. That's right. Mental discipline is when you expose 
to what you love. And it doesn't occupy your mind in such a way that it alters your thought. That's right. That you think less of God and more of it. That's right. Mental discipline. Amen. You can think about the club and not want to go there. Yeah. Now with mental discipline, there's emotional discipline. Somebody say, God brought me out the club. All parts of you got to come out. Yes. God brought me out the world. All parts of you, your whole body got to come out. That's right. Not just the physical body. Mind got to come out. Heart got to come out. When your mind and heart come out, the lust for it come out. Right. Are you listening? That's right. Ask God, take the world out of you. That's All right. right. He brought you physically out, but now you got to ask him to take you out of it. That's right. I say, well, Patrick, I don't understand. I'm in church. Is every part of you in church? Part of you. <coughs> if there's any part of yourself that love the world, I don't care how little, how much. Mm -hmm. That all you need is a little pinhole. That's right. You get a tire with a slow leak. You don't get it fixed. Eventually, what happens? It gets flat. It's flat. Amen. That's why you got to run this race. Right. With patience. Don't patience. claim nothing. Don't claim you're up to something you ain't. Amen. Had a beautiful time today, a spirit moving all over the place, but don't get hype over it. <laughs> oh, no. There ain't no one shouting now. <laughs> ain't even no one even speaking in tongue. That's right. That's right. Not even me, Pastor. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> As a minister of Jesus Christ, we as a people are amongst the world of sin. That's right. So teaching must be fortified in such a way that we must not only learn the resurrection of Christ, yes. but you have to learn the resurrection of Satan. Did you hear the old man? Yes, we learn the resurrection of Christ, but you have to learn the resurrection of Satan. That's right. The Lord raised us from the dead. That's right. And Satan raised us in the dead. <laughs> Second chapter of the book of Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 2, we'll start at verse 1. You have he quickened. What? Who were dead, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. You had God quickened. 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 Who were dead. Dead. What, in, were, what were we buried in? In trespasses and sins. Satan raised us up in sin. That's right. God raised us up to take us out. out. Satan raised us up to be in it. Right. In other words, it's a battle. For souls. Oh, yes. That's right. You better get this. That's right. Devil don't like you serving God. Oh, no. Not in spirit, not in truth. He don't like that. No, no. Do you remember in the book of Jasher when Satan was determined to keep Abraham from offering up Isaac? What did he do? Came to Abraham like an old man. Old man. Called him silly. <laughs> That's right. Come to Isaac like a young man. Come to them both, appearing as a body of water to drown them. Drown them. Thank God, but Abraham experience with God says he knew it. It was the devil. It was the devil. You have to have experience with God where you can differentiate between Satan and God. Yes, you must learn God, but you must learn Satan. That's right. Book of Genesis. Let's go to the God. Yes. And let's get the tree. That's right. And then let's see if such knowledge is in us. That's right. Follow me. Get me now. In the book of Genesis chapter 3. And we'll start at verse 1. Listen at the language of scripture. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the, the devil, Lord God had made. Serpent. Subtle. Subtle. Cunning. Yes. God said that he shall be cussed and fall on his belly right. and eat dust. That's right. That doesn't mean the natural serpent eating dust by sticking out his tongue. The dust that he would eat, 
He will consume man. That's right. And consume woman. Yeah. And he's doing it too. He's doing it. Wrapping around man, wrapping around woman, subconscious thought, and choking the will of God out of them and consuming them head first by taking over their capacity to think. That's right. Wonderful. Wrapping and coiling himself around the human family, squeezing out of them their desire to obey God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Hallelujah. When you find your mind and your heart starting to turn away from God to go back out in the world, the serpent, the serpent. is coiling around you. That's right. Amen. That's right. Your love towards God not the same no more. Why the serpent? The serpent. Thank God. It's coiling itself around you to choke out right. the love, the joy, the interest that you have towards God. That's right. And it takes God to pry them off of you. Amen. Can't get them off on your own. No. And even if the devil swallow you, it takes God to get a hold of the serpent and make them throw you back up. That's right. Amen. That's right. Wonderful teacher. Glory to God. Now the serpent was more if subtle. If you see your brother or your yeah. sister being taken over by Satan, don't rejoice. That's right. If you see Satan starting to digest them, if you see that hand, he got the feet, the hip, the everything in, and the hand is hanging out the mouth. Hallelujah. Almost gone. Almost. Hallelujah. Until he digests them, yeah. and there's a big lump in his body. Mm. Even then, it's not over. That's right. That's true. Mm. Why? God said if I lay my bed in hell, in hell, the prophet said God is there. That's right. So if you find yourself in the belly of the serpent, the Hallelujah. power of God can cut that serpent open Hallelujah. and take you out of there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take you out of there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. If I'm in the belly, you're going to see the belly moving. That's What's right. going on? I'm fighting in fighting. there. Fighting. That's Glory right. I'm fighting in there. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Fighting. Yes. Maybe a struggle, but I'm fighting to get out of there. That's right. Notice what the word of God says in the book of Genesis here. Genesis 3 and verse 1. Now the, Solomon. Now the serpent was more subtle. The serpent. Was more tricky than any beast of the field. Thank God than any beast which, of the field. Which the Lord God had made. Which God made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Yes. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, uh -huh. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Yes. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Uh -huh. Truth and lie. Watch it. That's right. You won't surely die. For God doeth no. Now in truth. That in the day Start you... Start off with lie. That's right. That's why you see that snake with a split at the end of his tongue. Split at the end, but the tongue that goes down into the body is one. That's right. That's true. He's divisive. Yeah. Yes. He separates you from the agenda of God and God's purpose. That's right. He had lied to you. Yes. Sounds good. Look at what the serpent says to the woman. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. You won't die. For God doeth know God that, knows. that in the day ye eat thereof. Thank God the day that ye eat thereof. Then, then your eyes shall be open. That's truth. That's truth. Your eyes will be open. And ye shall be as gods. You're going to be as gods. What does that mean? Knowing good and evil. That was truth. That was truth. That he was told them to touch that's right. not the tree. The tree. Didn't it? That's right. Of the knowledge that's right. of good and evil. and evil. Touch not the tree. That's right. Now, the tree, knowledge start off as a seed. Yes. The knowledge of good and the knowledge of evil. And out of the ground. Listen at this quickly now. Genesis 2 and verse 9. What is it? And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. Yes. And good for food. Good for food. The tree, also, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden. All right. And the tree of the knowledge. The tree of the knowledge. Of good and evil. Of good and evil. He told him don't touch it. That's right. 
touch, don't touch that. Don't touch. There's a tree that consists of knowledge. It's the knowledge of two worlds. That's right. Good and evil. But of the tree of the knowledge. The tree of the knowledge. Of good and evil. Of good and evil. Thou shalt not eat of it. Don't you eat that. For in the day that Don't thou you eatest eat thereof. That's right. Because if you eat it, what will happen? For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's why everything is practically dead now. Right. They got the knowledge. That's right. Of good and evil. And it killed them. Hmm. What are they? The living dead. That's right. yeah. There's the goodness of God. And there's the goodness of flesh. Yeah. That's right. There's the evil of God. Uh oh. No one say evil of God. Give me the Old Testament. I believe it's in the book of Numbers. What Moses said to God. Yeah. And man, Moses jumped on God and told him, turn. Yes. I said, I said. That's right. There's the evil of God. And there's the evil of man. God evil is good. Man evil is wrong. God evil is righteous. Man evil is sin. And the book of Exodus. God evil is judgment. That's right. Totally different. Don't want to say God can't do evil. Evil, God's evil ain't like yours. That's true. Let's get some Bible for this. The book of Exodus chapter 32, we'll start reading at verse 11. Listen and follow me and get me and learn. And Moses besought the Lord his God uh -huh. and said, Lord, why doeth thy wrath wax hot against why thy people? Why do your anger wax hot to these folk? Which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand. Yes. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak? And say, for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains uh -huh. and to consume them from the face of the earth. Yes. Turn from thy fierce wrath. Turn from thy fierce wrath. And repent of this evil against thy people. Come on. Ah. Amen. He told God to do what? Turn from thy Turn fierce from wrath. From your fierce wrath. And repent. Re Here's a man telling God, repent. <laughs> My Lord. Lord, you talk about destroying their people. That's right. You gonna do what, Lord? That's right. No, 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 no. I can't have that. No. Turn. Turn, Lord. From thy fierce wrath. From your anger. And repent. And repent of this evil against thy people. I want to say I thought God can't get wrong. He didn't. He didn't. Did God do evil? No. No. God was going to destroy Israel for a conduct, but in Moses' eyes, if he did it, it would be evil to him. That's right. Was it evil to God? No. But it was evil to Moses. That's right. That's why Moses brought up, now if you do this, we're going to give the Egyptians something to talk about. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and Wherefore, say? Wherefore, in other words, the Egyptians are going to do some backbiting about you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you're going to come along and deliver your people out the land of Egypt and show all these signs and wonders to do what? Send them out here and kill them? Kill them. Now, why you want to give them something to talk about? <laughs> That's right. My Lord. I don't agree with that, Lord. My Lord. Moses was pleading. Yes, he was. For God to show mercy. That's right. Upon the people and the people had no idea they provoked God in such a way he was ready to wipe them all off the face of the earth. Now therefore let me alone that my wrath may wax hot against them. Give chapter and verse. In Exodus chapter 32 and at verse 10. Look at what God said to Moses. Now therefore let me alone. Leave me alone. That my Don't wrath. Don't go pleading to me right. about your people. That's right. I have seen this people. I've seen these devils. And behold it is a stiff necked people. Come on. Amen. I've seen these devils. That's right. I brought them out the land of Egypt and what I get in return. That's right. They credit a calf instead of crediting me. Amen. I sent them manna from heaven. Yeah. That didn't satisfy them. I gave them quails. Yes. That didn't satisfy them. That's right. That's right. All what i done and then what I get in return right. in their heart, they turn right back into Egypt. That's right. Wanted to go back to where they were. That's right. 
Are you listening to what I'm telling you? In Exodus 32 and verse 9. Yes, and, and the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people. The Lord said to Moses, I see these folk. And behold, it is a stiff-necked people. They hard head. They stiff-necked. Now, therefore, let me alone. Don't, hey. Before, <laughs> before Moses started bothering him, he knew what Moses had in mind. That's Ain't right. no need for you to start no praying. Don't start making no intercession. That's right. Just get it out your mind and leave me alone. Let me alone. Amen. You know, God had to put the love in a man for people. That's right. God wrath can get ready to take so many people out and they're too dumb to know it. That's right. And God will show it to his servant and him and his servant may have it out. Amen. God ready to move in and the servant is pleading, don't you do that. That's don't right. go there. That's right. You the one said you're merciful. You the one said you are long suffering to us with. That's right. You know, any time you can take God patience and push him mm. until he's ready to wipe out the entire nation. That's right. And then say, well, I raise up a nation that will obey. Right. It's good to have someone that God sin that can go to God in behalf of the people. Yes. Because sometimes the people is too busy acting like a fool right. until they act like God don't exist. That's right. I want you to understand. Hallelujah. It takes God. To put in a man, yeah. love for the soul of man. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. It, the loving people and leading them on the straight path is not an easy task. No, it's not. They are cuss you. <laughs> they are betrayed you. Yeah. They are scandalized you. They are plot to destroy you. Mm. They are plot to kill you. They are try to join you to take over. Right. They'll be subtle in their motive and objectives. Yes. They'll steal from you. One scripture talk about men stealers. Men stealers. Even in Moses' time, Israel rose up at him. That's right. There was a man named Korah, Korah. with about 250 noble and renowned. Yeah. Rose up against Moses. Up against Moses. That's God, and then God came along and Shook the earth. That's right. Opened it up and swallowed them up alive. That's right. About 250, 250 of them. 250 of them. Including their children. That's right. Moses married an Ethiopian woman. Yeah. His brother and sister didn't like it. That's right. They didn't like it. <laughs> Marion got beside herself. Had the Lord only spoken by Moses. Moses. Have he not spoken by us? What have God said? The Lord heard it. God came out and said, come out, you three. Come on now. You talk too much. That's right. I heard you. Come out. That's right. Here come Mary and Aaron and Moses. Come on out, you three. Come to the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud. Listen. In the book of Numbers. I, I, I'd rather for a CEO of a company come down. That's right. I'd rather for the president to come down. Oh, yeah. Can't make out what he say. No way. <laughs> but your creator. Creator. Your Lord. Amen. Who know all your thoughts. That's right. You have no secrets. No. You can't hide. Your imaginations he knew before you was born. That's Lord. true. He can have the whole world stand before him and single out the first person. That have a lie in their heart. Because he saw you lie before he made you. That's right. All of his predictions are correct. Yeah. He never error. Never He's flawless. He make no mistakes. Light and darkness, the prophet says, are equal to him. Equals him. Listen. In the book of Numbers chapter 12 and verse 5. That's what? And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud. And what did the Lord say? And stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Mary. Uh -huh. And they both came forth. Yeah. And he said, hear now my words. Hear now my words. If there be a prophet if among you. If there be a prophet among you. I, the Lord, will make myself will known, make myself unto, him known unto him in a vision. And will speak, and will unto, speak him to him in a, dream. in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. What? Who is faithful in all mine house. Uh -huh. With him will I speak mouth to mouth. I'm going to talk to him mouth to mouth. Even apparently Even often. and not 
not in dark speeches. And not in, I won't talk to him where he can't understand. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Yes. Wherefore then were you not afraid? Were you not afraid to speak, to against, speak my against, against my servant Moses? My servant Moses. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. And, and he they, departed. And he what? And he departed. It's on now. It, that's right. It's on. He got angry and left. That's right. He imagined someone getting angry and leave, <laughs> and now you don't know what's going to happen after. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and they got a reputation for a bad temper. That's right. And power. Amen. The Lord get angry mm. and leave and, and just leave you there. That's right. <laughs> well, what, 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 what's going to happen? Yeah. What's, mm. what's next? What's next? Because you can't breathe unless he lets you. That's right. You can't see unless he keeps you there. That's right. You can't think unless he make your mind function. Yeah. He can smite you, take your legs away. Mm. Make your whole body like a rubber band. You got to be carried like an infant. That's right. Let us understand and respect the fact we are nothing in the eyes of God. Amen. Until he said our righteousness is as filthy rags. Right. Let no man think no higher than he ought to think, but think soberly. soberly. Don't even look at how long you've been saved. The devil will trick you there. That's right. Make you get comfortable and ease. And woe unto them that are eased in Zion. That's right. I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ over 50 years. Wow. I had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. <laughs> I should know it by heart now. That. <laughs> Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. <laughs> about, about, about 47 years. Wow. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue about 47 years. Mm. Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. My Lord. About 47 years. Mm. I've been preaching 45 years. Lord. Been pastoring 37 years. Mm. Some years you add up to over 100. Well over 100. But I ain't getting ease. No, no. Oh, no. Look and get how long you've been walking with God and you focus on that. You can deceive yourself, trick yourself, overestimate yourself, underestimate the devil. That's right. And the moment you underestimate the devil, you become vulnerable for his prey. That's right. <laughs>